Hello everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here I'm going to show you this face login election system based on Flask and don't worry about the code. It will be provided to you in the form of a link, GitHub link in the description section. I'm going to show you this BB first which is connected with this application. The tables, there are no tables at present. Now uh, for starting this election system, if the student will try to do it. So this is what he's going to get. Okay, if he will try to create his profile here. He won't be able to do that. Right. Now, admin is the one who will have to initiate the election system election mechanism how to do that how the admin will do that so he needs to first log in like this so the login credentials are the ones present in this dot env file now click on dashboard come here upload the candidates profiles first so i'm going to upload the profiles of four different candidates Okay, and the moment admin uploads the first profile, all these tables get created. In the candidate name table, we can see the profile of the first candidate. Result is completely empty. Student details is completely blank. Vote is completely blank. And here in this uploads named folder, in this candidate folder, we can see the pick of the candidate. Okay and what is this let me just quickly delete it because you know we have not okay right now coming back to this or else let me just delete the election what happens is if there are some unnecessary pictures in this candidates or uploads named folder so the admin can simply come here they can delete the election the moment he does it what happens is all the tables go away. Besides that, all the picks present in this uploads and candidates named folder also go away. Now coming back to the dashboard, let's create the profile of Gaurav. Okay. Now, as you can see, the tables have come again. I can see one pick also here in this candidates named folder, which is of Gaurav Kumarjan. Right now, it's time for us to create some more profiles. I'm going to create the profile of Abhinav Bindra. And here, I'm going to select this photograph. Submit, then show Nagar. Okay, let's submit. So now there are three different profiles we have created. There are three different candidates now. This can, uh, users can select from. Okay, and the admin can see the candidates profiles here in this stats. So if you see for all the candidates, the votes are zero at present because no one have received any kind of votes. There are no voters at present in the database that is the reason this table is completely blank it's time for us to create some profiles i already have this information stored over here let me just refresh this page and quickly create one profile here generate okay i've created a profile and now if i come here in this table name student details i can see Gaurav Kumar Jain's profile. Let me try to log in through face login option. You can see my profile. If I try to log in like this. I can see my profile. Right. Now coming back to the admin's panel. Voters. There is one voter. 
and the voting status is not voted because he hasn't voted yet. It's time for us to do face login. And then we can do let's vote. We can see the profiles of all the three people, all the three candidates. If I click on my photograph here, I can see my profile. So this is basically coming from the Flask session. So in this Flask, if you see, we've used this Flask session here for storing the user's information. Okay. Now uh, I can vote for one of these people. Let me vote for Ashok Nagar. Submit vote. Okay. So I've submitted my vote. Now if I come here on this vote named table, I can see my record here. So I, vote, I voted for Ashok Nagar, right? Coming back to the student login, if I try to log in again and vote for some other people, other person, can I do that? Let's see. So I can see my profile here. Let's vote. Okay, you have already voted. Please wait for the result. So I cannot vote, right? Okay. Now it's time for us to see these pages once, right? So this admin panel, it has four sections in it, right? So this page is one single page, which is this admin.html. Only this part is changing. Okay. Then we have this candidates.html. So where is this candidates.html? Let me just show you that. Um, candidates.html. Where is this candidate? One second. In, uh, index.html is this. Okay. This is your index.html. Result.html I'll show you at the end. Student login is this page over here, the student registration is this page over here, candidates, uh, okay, when the user comes here, you know, this is the candidate stage, you can see my profile here, I need to log out, right, if I try to access this candidates, I'll not be able to access it anymore, right, because I logged out. So the session got this one. Fine. Uh, this is the candidate stage. Now the next thing which I want to show you is this application.py. So all the flask code that has been used as a backend for this application is present in this app.py. Okay. Now it's time for us to check the voters. So as you can see here, the voting, voting status has changed from not voted to voted. Right, because I've already already voted, and here I can see Ashok Nagar's number of votes is one. It's time for us to declare the result. See result. Okay, I've declared the result now. Now if the user will try to log in, what is going to happen? Let's check it out. So let's vote, and he will come and see this stage instead of seeing the candidate stage. Why? Because the result has been declared. And as you can see, Ashok Nagar is a winner. Okay, so this page over here, candidates.html is this, sorry, result.html is this page. Fine, so this is the complete election system. Now, if the user wants to, if the admin wants to, again conduct the election, how he will do it? for resetting the complete election system, he can come on this reset and then he can delete the election from here. Once he deletes the election, what will happen? From this uploads named file, all the files, folders, everything will get deleted. From this database here, all the tables which got created will get deleted automatically. Right, and he can again upload the profiles, create the tables and you know, initiate the election process. This is a complete face, face login based election system. I hope you guys liked it. Please do not forget to like and share this video in your groups. And also, if you want the link of this video, you can find it easily in the description section in the form of a GitHub link. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care and have a great, great day. Guys.